Hello viewers, welcome back to the Homeworld Desert to Karak speedrunning tutorial. This video we're going over the Whispering Gallery. Let's get started. So the beginning of the Whispering Gallery, the beginning cutscene, uh, there's a glitch that can happen. It's about 50-50 whether it happens or not. Um, the glitch is, is that the units do not spawn in the cutscene. Excuse me, I just burped there. Um, <laughs> I'll have to edit that out. Anyways, the glitch is that... Um, uh, the units do not spawn during the cutscene, so it doesn't really affect your time at all. It can just make the mission a little bit more inefficient. So let's see what we get here. All right, units did not spawn during this cutscene. So normally there's a whole bunch of units here, and they're all fighting, and it's a big battle, and it actually looks pretty cool. It's a nice cinematic. Um, but for whatever reason, in between missions. Um, the fleet decided to dock itself inside the carrier Capizzi. So at the beginning of this mission, all the the ships are exiting the Capizzi's hangar. Um, and they do that during the cutscene because in the other videos, like I said, your units are active during cutscenes. So here they'll spawn. Oh, there they all are. Um, so anyways, because we didn't have the Capizzi spawned over there, the units did not have time to exit. So right now the units are exiting, so it just takes a little longer. Um, first thing we need to do, shut your power. Go ahead, research hack upgrade. Um, make sure you have four full wings of strike fighters, so we lost one of the last mission, so we'll build one there. And then give the Capizzi a waypoint up here. Um, we can start our salvagers on these three piles. Put your support cruiser next to it. Give Rachel and the honor guard cruiser to guard this and then any other units that have left can start guarding the Capizzi. Now we're going to send some airstrikes over here. So don't spam these too quickly and also watch them as they come out because a lot of times they like to just hover around the Capizzi and not actually travel to where they need to go like they're doing right now. So kind of just be aware of that. Yeah, they disappear. It's it's very weird, and it seems to only happen in this mission, but if you can kind of grab them as they're coming out, you should be good. So there is a production cruiser over here. That's what you want to target down. If possible. So make sure your units are still continuing to guard the Capisi along the trek. Now hold off on air when you get to this point. Recall all your air if you can, because these missile ships will take them out as they're flying around. Um, so to prevent that, you can just kind of target your units, or have your units target the missile ships to kill them quickly. Rachel will also take some damage in this mission. This is, this is the mission where she has the most... Or the highest chance to die. Also, we're going to get cruise missile silo. That's don't forget that. Armor, go ahead. Coordinates confirmed. Move confirmed. Crew ready. Point to be advised. Allied craft destroyed. Okay, good. Attention. So now we can Enemy fix our waypoints again. New heading set. Op ready. Lock us down for long range travel. Strike copies. Um, all of our LAVs are over here. They can go heading across set. the bridge or the the canyon. Right, we want this guy to join group 3 with the other ones and send them. Um, actually, I did that a little bit too soon. Hold off on that. The Capizzi can't go down these little slopes, so it's better to have them guard because you want them to take this long path around here. Uh, you don't want them to go down the hill into the canyon and then come up over here uh, because they'll intercept units over here. And we don't want them to fight. All right, so let's get some more air Start going on over here. Attack vector dialed in. Be advised, an RU site has been exhausted. Right. All of our resources are collected, so send them up to this bulkhead. Ready. And then your LAVs, keep them down here. They're just kind of like a backup. Also, it's a good idea to max out your population. Um, so we're gonna build some LAVs up here because those ones are likely going to die, and then we're going to max out on railguns because we have two carriers to fight. Alright, so ahead. what do 
what is going on. Railgun dialed in. Strike craft destroyed. Off ready. Lock and fire. There is a big clump of railguns over here. Try and take out a lot of those. Enemy production cruiser sighted. Be advised. Allied craft down. Allied craft. I'm gonna go ahead and send another wave down here. Alert. Allied carrier taking hostile fire. Go ahead and take that out. Hostile interceptor down. That was a pretty neat crash right there. Enemy heavy cruiser detected. Unidentified hostile incoming. Authenticate. There we go. Good. Alright, so these guys are over here. Let's have them start mining this bulkhead. They look like they're kind of close. I don't want to nuke them. I don't know if those guys launched off their salvo. I'm assuming they did, but... Send message. Or right, so you have a pretty high chance of getting an artifact here. Secure it. Um, go ahead and harvest that. Get some of these guys on our use as well. And now at this point, these guys are sending a wave of uh, cruisers and other ships Alert. to Friendly intercept you up here. You want to use your cruise missile on them. Strike fighter approach vector dialed in. Green line confirmed. But I can't aim it. I can't aim my cruise missile without having a line of sight on them. So I kind of use some strike fighters to pinpoint them. And then X is the home key for a cruise missile. Just slap that right in the middle of them. Target locked. Fire. Get a oh, excuse me, a nice little cinematic for your first cruise missile. And that looks like it took them all out. Perfect. So these guys can go down. Good copy. Copy. Green line verified. And let's uh New try guns. and fight off some more of these railguns. Be advised. Strike craft craft destroyed. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Now once the Capizi gets over here, have your groups get manual waypoints. Um go for range. Group Meaning, you don't want the waypoint that they're guarding the Capizzi and the Capizzi is traveling over here. You want them to do their own thing. Otherwise, they can get kind of confused and they'll travel the wrong way. Excuse me, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to multitask here and I suck at it. Okay, so you just saw me... Um, put kind of direct these strike fighters to come down the canyon instead of just automatically going where they wanted to go. Um, the reason they did that, or I had them do that, is because there's a whole bunch of missile ships. There's a whole bunch of missile ships over here, and I don't want them to fly over those missile ships as they return back to the Capizzi. So I'm kind of just directing them a little bit. You can also hold shift and then Give you, um, but once once they get away from this area and go around um, this little ping right here, they're good to travel back, and that that should be good. I mean, we took off, we took out most of them. Ideally, these heavy railguns would be done, but we have our LAVs here to knock them out. So the Capi or the Sakala, I kind of pause for a second. The Sakala can do some weird stuff with um not targeting down enemy units. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, it's just mostly something that you see and it's like these units are out of range of the Sakala. So the Sakala will keep building waves of fighters and send them up here to fight and then the railguns, because they are long range units, they will move back towards the side of the canyon to shoot the enemies that, or not shoot the enemies, but shoot your allies that come up here and then these railguns never get destroyed. So these railguns are part of the fleet that need to be that's attacking the Sakala, and they need to be destroyed in order to complete the objective, defend the Sakala. Um, so always keep your um, LAVs kind of, excuse me, in reserve to knock them out in case this happens. So. Receiving. Alert. Friendly taking enemy bombers inbound on the Capici. Oh. Enemy railgun eliminated. Taking effective fire. Good. And then they can kind of just travel back down here. I'll have them defend the Sakala. Alright, so 
now this is when these carriers are going to head through the canyon here and they're going to come out to this big open area here. We're going to do like we did in uh, Bellad and Dune Sea. Holy shit, I lost the entire wave of units. That's interesting. I was not aware of that. Alert, hostile bomber on approach. Fleet group four assigned. Are you deposit completed? Move order confirmed. Standing by. Move order confirmed. Um, anyways, we're going to try and meet them at the lip of this canyon. Hopefully, our cruise missile is about ready to be used again. Good. Um, ideally, in this mission, you can steal an Omnigar cruiser or two. So, be try and nab one of those if you can. Um, Rachel can die in this mission hardcore. So, it's, it's up to you whether you want to keep Rachel on the Capizzi or if you want to keep her in the back. Um, when I do this, I normally keep all of my tanks or my AAVs and assault ships up in the front. I keep my railguns back here. Hopefully I'd have a lot more railguns and I keep my honor guard cruiser way the fuck back here. So I'm going to keep Rachel back a little bit and then I'm going to have my units target the carrier and then I'm also going to give them um, the move command backwards, especially these railguns. As these railguns travel backwards, they can just fire on the, um, the the carrier, and it's good. Now, don't use air. There's missile ships all over the place here, so you will just lose all your air. And then look for a good place to launch your cruise missile. You want your cruise missile to hit a carrier, but you also want it to hit a whole bunch of enemies around it. Um, it's kind of hard. Rachel's in a really bad spot. It looks like she's about to just get pummeled, so I'm going to manually target her. Also, I don't want my Honor Guard Cruiser to get on its own. I want him to stay back here. So we just keep giving a movement commands to these guys as they take out this uh, Retribution. The Retribution is the easier one to take out. Looks like our Honor Guard Cruiser went down. Alright, so now we really need to get out of here. And this is a good place to use our um, our cruise missile. I'm looking for a good. I think this would be an excellent place to use it right here. Now let's take out that carrier and keep moving. And now we have a lot of population. We're going to go ahead and just keep spamming railguns. Attention. Everything should be attacking the Sunder now. I still don't see any um, Guard cruiser. I saw one get destroyed. It's not the end of the world if you don't have any Guard cruisers for the next mission, but it does make it a little bit more tricky. Um, I might need to have Rachel come up and support this, uh, the Capizzi. But this is the bulk of my fleet right here. And I just want them to keep pummeling on the Sunder. Especially as we move out over here. I do not want the carrier to be destroyed. So these railguns actually just kind of drove out and got destroyed. That's fine. We can kind of use them as fodder. I don't see too many uh, missile ships, so I'm going to go ahead and launch some airstrikes on them. And it looks like we just got it, so now I pull all of your units out of here. Pull them all out of here. Now, you can kind of monitor your control groups. If you're seriously lacking a lot of units, you can build some more. But otherwise, that's the mission. That wasn't, that wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. Um, I still will use that for my tutorial, even though it's kind of choppy. I might redo it. I don't know. I'll do this mission quickly and you can kind of see um, see a better playthrough of this mission, hopefully without me concentrating on commentary. It's very hard for me to do commentary and play at the same time, especially on a really action-packed mission like this. So stay tuned. I'm going to play through this mission again, um, kind of clean up my commentary on a few parts I missed, and we'll, we'll get it going.
So this time the units did spawn, which is good. We'll have a little bit of a better start. So let's see if I can do a better example here. The Sakala is currently positioned here. Ready all combat groups to support Allied fleet. Watch for friendlies. Capisi, we're under fire. Requesting support. Good copy. Allied craft lock ready. Course set. Scans active. Off ready. Hostile detected. Ready. Visual unconfirmed. Weapon systems online. Weapon range systems currently active. Carrier warning. Heat levels are spiking. Regroup power to avoid system damage. Railgun locked. Enemy production crews. Galsian railguns are tearing through our armored forces. Provide fire support. Where is the strike craft down? We're copy. Hmm. Alert. Disappeared. Galsian are pummeling the Sakala with long range missile barrages. We read you. And upgrade the Capisi's cruise missile silos now. Allied carrier taking hostile Dead. fire. Unidentified contact. Designate as hostile. All hands. Receiving. Enemy airstrike inbound. Get it moving. Off ready. Take up guard on that vehicle. Be advised. Allied craft range destroyed. Traffic destroyed. We're ready. The Galcian carriers are barraging us with heavy ordnance. You're taking fire. fire. Multiple hull fractures. Copy that, Sakala. Hold on. Armored craft on approach. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Reading. Railgun online. Fleet group three assigned. Go for armor. Guard position locked in. Ready. Go ahead. Hostile armor eliminate. Fleet group four assigned. Alert. Friendly taking hostile fire. Move order confirmed. Enemy contacts on the board. Copy. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Strike systems online. Ready to burn. CU site exhausted. Target confirmed. Launch bomber. Bomb Be advised. Launch. Allied craft launch. down. Salvage your copies. Move out. Off ready. Lock up. Target. Strike craft destroyed. Ready. So taking out that production cruiser as quickly as you can um, helps with the, uh, the amount of units that you, the Sakala needs to defend against. Be careful sending your bomber up here. There is an Onagar cruiser that has anti-air, so um, if it flies around too much, I would just kind of pull it out if possible. But these railguns are the ones that you want to destroy the most, big clusters of them. So that was pretty good. And also, you know, be wary of the missile ships that are right here, like I said it earlier. Enemy armor, just say armor ready. Up ready. Alright, what do we got? Galsian missiles are smashing the Sakala's armored plating. We must push the Galsian forces away from our Sedim allies. Ready. Make ready. Out, max off. out on as many railguns as you can and then we get make don't forget cruise missile silo either so um, I did explain this in the last little bit but that hack upgrade allows you to hack cruisers um, so like I said earlier you want to try and hack some honor guard cruisers if you can um, if you can't it's fine the more honor guard cruisers you have for the next mission the better I'll just put it that way so if you're going for the perfect time um, you'd be able to hack two honor guard cruisers along with the one that you have and start the next mission with three but that doesn't happen very often I have trouble doing that so now just kinda waiting for that that group of units to get about right here it's easier to target them. apparently the PZ just decided to run itself into a crashed starship Awesome. So right here, that was a battle cruiser that just got destroyed. 
the longer you can keep that battle cruiser alive, it can take out these groups of heavy railguns fairly easily. Um, but it's not a priority. It's kind of a very dumb battle cruiser. It doesn't like to target things, and it just kind of sits there and takes hits. But this is a big chunk of railguns that we're going to want to get destroyed. So I'm going to see if I can um, target down that group there, and then send uh, some waves to waves of air to destroy that railgun cluster. Go ahead. There Unidentified craft on approach. Mark the bearing. Hostile armor incoming. Reading. We've had for launch on that. Can you confirm visual? Target set. Missile away. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Good. One real good live, but that's fine. The fleet can take care of that on its own. Off ready. Copy. Green line barrier. Allied craft has been engaged. Provide fire support. Hostile strike craft down. So like I said, I'm going to send my air straight down the valley if I can, and then over here to destroy that cluster, and then come back up in this little L shape. That way they avoid um, Make ready. units. So at this point, we can probably give our, our manual waypoints to all of our groups. And just make sure that no one's going down this way. I don't think these guys fired off any missiles so they can come Alert. back. So it looks like Ready we also command. can do some harvesting over here now. Place hold charges. Salvage are up. Time to waste it. Energy signature confirmed. Boarding. An artifact has been discovered. On the move. Advance to mark to use. We read you. Salvage are up. Time to waste it. Identified RV site on scanner. Conducting hostile light attack Roll. vehicle. Visually authenticated. And we should be good there. So let's make sure that. Um, like this guy, this guy is going the wrong way. Go for range. Control group four designated. Artifact recovered. Authentication confirmed. Alert. Allied carrier taking hostile. You can alert. You can get into the habit um, when the Capizzi is running against this canyon wall here. Units decide to travel around to this waypoint <laughs> instead of hanging on to the Capizzi. So it's just kind of something to be aware of. Giving a little bit of a little bit of time to get our units in place, and then let's go ahead and finish off defending the Sakawa. Make ready. Coordinates confirmed. Enemy bombers detected inbound on the Sakala. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Get us underway. The Gaussian carriers are falling back. I don't want Rachel to be in the the brunt of the the fighting to get possible. Driven off the Gaussian critter on our way. Roger that, Zakala. See you deposit depleted. Ready. Now, some of my very first runs of this game, I used to do um, artillery cruisers. I used to leave the Capizzi over here until the Sakala was defended and then drive the Capizzi over here and we would fight this area instead of this entire area. Um, I routed out artillery cruisers because they are incredibly slow. We are readying a group of light attack vehicles to scout enemy positions. Go for range. Copy that. We'll engage. Set. Capizzi moving up. So one thing, I don't know, I kind of want to test this. I wonder if I get the Capizzi to s turn around. If that would help. Challenging for short range units. We can use the terrain to our advantage by utilizing artillery cruisers. Yeah, you can put. If you. I think the way this mission is intended is you put like artillery cruisers up on these little hills and just barrage people. That doesn't work too often. New sector designated. Move out. Hostiles designated. Oil trackers assigned. Point them out. This is the captain. Armored vehicle is taking fire.
this is going pretty well so far. Attention. Armored vehicle has been destroyed. Alert, rail gun down. Reporting. Onigar cruiser got got in the way and got taken out. Yep, there it just went down right now. Alright, so I want a cruise missile somewhere around here. Enemy armor disabled. Armored vehicle locked. I'm gonna hold off on it for a little bit. All hands, target and destroy. A head full. Let's pump out some railguns if we can. Off ready. Crew ready. Battle report. Enemy production cruiser destroyed. Enemy airstrike inbound. This looks like a good place for the cruiser. Well, a little too late. That would have been a good spot for it. Armored vehicle has been destroyed. Why the railgun is taking effect of fire. Runner. Alert. Railgun lost. I don't see an Honor Guard cruiser anywhere. Waiting for eyes on to attend the captain. Alert. Carrier is taking fire. Enemy fighters have engaged. I also don't see too many missile ships anywhere, so let's go ahead and spam some air on this guy. Keep our guys moving. There's an honor guard cruiser. Oh, it was just I destroyed the carrier just as it was spawning out. It's kind of. Hard to see, but let's get all of our units out of here and wait for this mission. So that was still pretty slow. We're at 13 minutes plus. Um, my PB for this mission is like 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, so Kashar approach might be a little bit, a little bit difficult coming up because we don't have any honor guard cruisers, but it should still be doable. Um, it's not the end of the world. Ideally, we would have grabbed one or two honor guard cruisers along with the one that we had, but that's something that you guys or whoever decides to run this game, you know, they can practice that mission a lot. I highly recommend practicing that mission quite a bit. It's very so difficult. Anyways, that that ends uh, the Whispering Gallery. Next video, we're going over Kashar Approach, so stay tuned for that. See you guys.